The first season of The Rings of Power concluded nicely, even though the film's climax, which revealed Gandalf and unmasked Sauron, packed a lot into it, they still found time to create some elaborate jewelry in an effort to preserve the elven race. These rings are obviously more than just attractive objects. They actually have a significant role in Tolkien lore, but they have a long way to go before that. There is undoubtedly a storm brewing with Sauron returning and his sights set on Middle-earth, but when will we finally get the answers to the cliffhangers that showrunners Patrick McKay and J.D. Payne created for us? Here is everything we currently know about Season 2 of The Rings of Power. Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power Season 2 Potential Release Date, When's It On? There is much relief for fans of The Rings of Power. A second season of their favorite fantasy series has been confirmed. Even better news, The Hollywood Reporter claims that filming for Season 2 has already concluded and that it will premiere later this year. The popular fantasy series might live on after Season 2, which is even more thrilling news for fans than the confirmation of the release window. Although a third season of Rings of Power is not yet confirmed, creators Patrick McKay and J.D. Payne are said to have begun assembling early concepts for the third season. We continue to be amazed by the scope and scale of their vision and the enormous global success achieved by Rings of Power in its record-breaking first season, said Vernon Sanders, head of television at Amazon MGM Studios, in a statement. We can't wait for Prime Video customers to experience the epic adventure and high-stakes drama that JD and Patrick are continuing to build throughout Season 2 and beyond. Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power Season 2 cast. Who will be coming back? You slippery eel, Halbrand. Charlie Vickers will undoubtedly reprise his role as the monarch of the Southlands, as many had conjectured that he was actually Sauron in disguise. This revelation puts an end to those theories. Elves never truly die, and we anticipate Morphid Clark's return as Galadriel for as long as she has breath left in her. She has a great deal of revenge to take and will definitely hold Sauron accountable for tricking and controlling her. Nobody could ever forget Daniel Wayman, also known as the Meteor Man, or as we like to call, freaking Gandalf. Since Gandalf the Grey is undoubtedly the wizard they refer to in the epilogue, let's face it. Without a doubt, we'll need more from him. The flashback sequences in the Lord of the Rings films tell a significant portion of the story about Isildur and his father Elendil, thus it's likely that Lloyd Owen and Maxim Baldry will perform those parts again. There is a lot developing as the Second Age progresses. We anticipate the return of the following since the final coalition of humans and elves, united against Sauron, is approaching. Robert Arameo as Elrond, Ismail Cruz Cordova as Arendir, Charles Edwards as Lord Celebrimber, Benjamin Walker as High King Gil-galad, Owain Arthur as Prince Durin, Sophia Nambit as Princess de Sa, Peter Mullen as King Durin III, Nazanin Boniadi as Bronwyn, Tyro Muafidin as Theo, Jeff Morrill as Waldrick, Cynthia Adai Robinson as Muriel, Queen Regent of Numenor, Lloyd Owen as Captain Elendil, Imma Horvath as Irian, Tristan Gravel as Farazan, Alex Tarrant as Valendil. Given that Nori has strayed from the path to accompany Istar, Gandalf, and the stranger on their journey to Rune, the future of the Harfoots is in doubt. She'll return. Lenny Henry, who has tragically died, will most likely not be reprising his role as Sadok Burroughs, but the following Harfoots might. Dylan Smith as Largo Brandefoot. Sarah Zwangabani as Marigold Brandefoot. Bo Cassidy as Dilly Brandefoot. Megan Richards as Poppy Proudfellow. Yusufa Jayasundra as Malva. It has been announced that the Rings of Power cast will include a large number of new characters in addition to the familiar ones. Certain, one of the oldest elves in Middle-earth, will appear in Season 2, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Although the character is still uncast, considering that this will be Certain's first live-action debut, it should be an interesting addition. But that's not all. Vernon Sanders, head of global television at Amazon Studios, announced on December 1, 2022, that many new characters will be joining the already large cast in Season 2. Jason Yates Adder from The Witcher will be joined by Gabriel Akiwudek from Ridley Road, Ben Daniels from The Crown, Amelia Kenworthy, Nia Toll from Persuasion, and Nicholas Woodison from Skyfall. Sam Hazeldean, star of Peaky Blinders, has also been cast, though not in a new part. For reasons that are currently unknown, he will take over as the orc leader Adar from Joseph Maul. A week later, more cast members were unveiled, including Stuart Bowman from The Pact and Callum Lynch from Bridgerton. Actors who will also be making their Middle-earth debuts in Season 2 were also announced in the massive announcement. The Bay's Oliver Alvin Wilson, The Undeclared War's Gabby Singh Chira, The Sandman's William Chubb, Game of Thrones' Kevin Eldon, The Crown's Will Keen, Hellraiser's Selena Lowe. For Season 2, basically, an entire army is joining the cast. Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power Season 2 Plot, What Will Happen? Big things are in store for Season 2. As of right moment, Nori and the Stranger are traveling to Rune to find out who he really is. As if we are in the dark, new characters will undoubtedly join the franchise as a result of their journey. Undoubtedly, a confrontation with Sauron is imminent. Nevertheless, Yurikadar, the outlaw, will need to deal with this adversary first. When we last visited Mordor, Adar and his orc allies were having a grand time after defeating and driving out the Southlanders. Sauron has now arrived in Mordor. When Sauron discussed governing Middle-earth with Galadriel, he thought that Mordor would be the ideal place to begin. 
Galadriel, on the other hand, is still in shock over Halbrand's real identity. He took advantage of her after she trusted and confided in him. There are no words to describe her current feelings toward him, even if she hated him previously. She will undoubtedly continue to hunt for Sauron's blood in the most ruthless ways. In a last-ditch effort to save the elven society, Galadriel, Elrond, and Celebrimbor forged three rings out of the meager amount of mithril they had. One will ultimately find its way to Gandalf in Tolkien lore, but it will take a while. He needs to discover who he is first. Executive producer Lindsay Weber has stated that, in any case, now that Halbrand has been revealed as Sauron, the show's lighthearted tone would change and become a little scarier in subsequent episodes. Season 2 is fundamentally different in that our main villain is out and about, and doing his thing, she stated to Deadline. I think in some ways, it's going to grittier, more intense, maybe a little scarier. Sophia Nambi continued, I can't even express how thrilled I am, there's just more of everything, at a Deadline panel. It was this magnificent opening to season one. We are curious about the world, culture, and methods by which we are implementing this incredible narrative and infrastructure. And that's just what we observe, the quiet, initial stage. How does time, dominion, and force get around in every single world? And that is simply astounding. It's so incredibly thrilling, if I may say so. The revelation of Sauron will undoubtedly affect Morford Clark, and it will undoubtedly have a significant effect on season two. We talked about it a lot and were thrilled that it would finally happen. Charlie had never actually gone full Sauron until we were on set, so we kind of practiced, she admitted to Collider. So when he said, I've had many names, for the first time, I thought, I've never seen Charlie like that. It's a little alarming. What I loved about it was how much of the stranger's journey had his questioning, am I bad? Do I pose a threat? Novelist Jennifer Hutchison stated, and then to be told, yes, you are. However, let Nori help him realize who he really was and who he really wanted to be again. That, in my opinion, was the advantage of the early reveal. It made that arc possible for the episode to finish. Furthermore, there was an additional slight misdirection. One such misdirection is a particular Gandalf quotation from The Stranger. That saying, following one's nose whenever in doubt, you know. We frequently refer to novels and stories from later eras as though they were written much earlier than they actually were. The story we know and the notion that these things will reappear in the Third Age. That phrase, then, is something that The Stranger, whoever he is, either repeats or transmits. It simply grounds it in that universe in a way that appealed to us. Let's just say there are a lot of lessons from Season 1 that will be applied to Season 2. The Hollywood Reporter was told by showrunner Patrick McKay, that could be an answer that takes an hour. Everyone engaged in the show's creation has learned a great deal over the process. We had no idea what we was about to experience, nor did anyone else. I hope they stay for more episodes. Some people had positive things to say about the pilot and second episode, and some didn't. The bar must continue to rise. We are eagerly awaiting more in Season 2. Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power Season 2 trailer, when can I watch it? Nothing in the way of a trailer will be released just yet. We apologize, but as soon as that changes, we'll be the first to let you know. Enjoy the fantastic season 1 trailer on YouTube to the fullest until then. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.